Oh, finally, guys, after clawing and scraping our way through the tunnels and all these confusing layouts of all of the tunnels and, and the mutant secret passage areas, we finally stumble upon the tunnel's guard. Who is it? We shall find out. Yes, welcome everybody to my Spear of Destiny, the 100% walkthrough for the PC, played through EC Wolf on the I Am Death Incarnate difficulty. This is Floor 5. All right, the boss floor. Here we go. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can do the upcoming couple of sections, and this is just the way I do it. So, out the elevator door and kill the guard on the left and the right, and then just stand in the elevator door and wait for seven SS officers to come for you. Uh, they actually come from an area behind you right now. Um, you're inside of a starting island, as it were, and they come from an area behind the island. Now, a lot of people will just run out and gun down the enemies as they see them, but you know me and my 20% cooler walkthroughs. I like being able to show the safest possible strategies, not necessarily the quickest, and that's all seven of them. Now when you step out of the starting island to the left, make sure to strafe the corner quickly and kill all the guards before they open up any of these three doors. If they do, they will alert more guards and more SS officers to come for you. And that's okay if you don't want to do this in piecemeal. Same thing goes for the right side, although make sure you kill the guard down the passageway, and then you can kill more guards. It's a rare time you'll actually see me strafe a corner like that while sprinting. Now behind the starting island, starting elevator island on the right side, is your first secret of 12. With the chain gun and some ammo. Now, where the SS officers were, there are three doors that take you to the same area with three dinners. These are the only health that you get in this entire floor, if you don't count the secret areas. Pretty harsh. So yeah, these three doors and these three doors all take you to the same area. But if you want to do the same way I do, I go left and open up the right door. Now I try and gun down as many guards as possible before hiding back again and letting all the guards funnel through. But also five SS officers will come for you. That's three, that's four. Maybe that's five, maybe I killed... Yeah, that's all five. Okay, unless one came out through here, and I'm not aware of it. Nope, I think I killed all five. All right, fair enough. Now, where the SS officers came from, I like to have the door open and run out and alert all the guards, and then just rush back and use the SS officer room as kind of a hold point as I take care of... Wow, no one's dying. That was crazy. I kept holding down the trigger and nobody was dying. Wow, that's the first time anybody's escaped out here. Alright, everybody is now dead though. Now these three doors will all take you to the same area with Tron's Gross, the boss fight. But to the left of the doors is your second secret. With lots more ammo. Now, I go through the center door and just fire a shot to alert four guards to come for me. Now, like I said, there are a number of different ways you can handle these sections, especially Tron's Gross. But the way I handle it is I just alert him. Kind of hard to hear what he was saying, but he was saying, 
a mistake in German. I let him come to me. He wields two chain guns, just like his brother Hans, and his sister Gretel, for that matter. And I just use this corner here as kind of a hold point. Then I race back into one of the open doors here. Any one of the six doors. What a pity, he says in German, and grab his gold key. Yeah, he's not hard at all. The only thing you want to make sure is that you have at maximum or near maximum ammo before you start fighting him. Otherwise, the strategy I used will not really work because you'll run out of ammo and then health and then you will die. Well, speaking of health, go back into Trons Gross's room and we'll go to the right to kill four SS officers. Three of them are along the perimeter wall here, but one is craftily hidden in the island here. And then where the swastika flag and the ammo clip is, is your third secret. And it will take you to a bunch of health. This is another viable option. You can just run straight into Trons Gross's room and just run straight for the secret after killing the SS officers, of course. Now, grabbing all these chalices should give you an extra life. There we go. At the end of the chalice hallway is a secret area, secret number four. And on the right is secret number five. With some crosses. Now facing secret four on the left is secret number six. And it will allow you to escape out to the gold doors area. There are three gold doors. They all take you to the same exit. Um, but to the left of them is secret number seven. With a whole bunch of ammo. To the right of the ammo is secret number eight. To the right of that is secret number nine with a bunch of crowns inside. And then facing secret seven, turn left for secret number 10. Or facing secret eight, turn left for secret number 10. There are two SS officers on the right, one immediately to the right, and then one right here. So make sure you kill both of them. Facing the two swastikas here, on the left, near the lamp, is secret number 11 with some treasure chests inside. Now the right swastika is actually your final secret, secret number 12. And oh my goodness, I'm getting some flashbacks everybody. Remember floor 4, fortune and glory and all those SS officers who were protecting the fortune and glory? This is very similar, very similar layout. What could they possibly be protecting now? I'm very worried. Okay. Oh my goodness, all the SS officers. And what were they protecting? One cross. But this just isn't any ordinary cross. Yes, it's only worth a hundred points. But this is the cross of Coronado. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, so it has to be worth much more than 100 points. We'll, uh, we'll go back to, uh, HQ and we'll have a word with, uh, with the people who are paying me and have them pay me more than 100 bucks for this cross of Coronado, because it does belong in a museum. All right, so that's what they were protecting. That's it. We are done with this floor, so... Let's find where the gold doors were and go through any one of the three of them. Gun down the SS officer, exit door, SS officer. And I want to top off my ammo. 
And that's it. 764,200 is the max you can get. And we get a 15,000 point bonus for completing Tron's Gross, or defeating Tron's Gross. So, yeah. So, historically, if we're talking about um, the missions of BJ, the Spear of Destiny mission is technically his very first mission, because Spear of Destiny is a prequel to Wolfenstein 3D. And, <laughs> funnily enough, the Nocturnal missions, Episode 4, 5, and 6, is a prequel to Episode 1, 2, and 3. So, historically, if we're talking about his missions in chronological order, BJ kills Trons Gross first, then kills Gretel, and then kills Hans Gross once he's captured and put into Castle Wolfenstein. But as far as releases go, historically by id Software, yes, Trons Gross is the last one we kill, but... Yep, three siblings. This is the first one we've killed, but on my channel, I've killed all three of them. I got all three of the siblings' heads on my wall. All three gross heads are on my wall right now. Trons, Hans, and Gretel. All right, pretty cool boss fight. Um, as is typical gross fashion, wielding two chain guns. Apparently that's their thing. And uh, yeah, but um, we got more bosses to come. Every fifth floor is a boss, all the way to floor 20. And then, well, floor 21. But we'll get there when we get there, so... Um... Yeah, oh, actually, no. Up to floor 18. I'm sorry. Uh, floor 20 is actually a secret floor, so... I'm getting confused. You'll see how it all works out as we progress. Next time, we will start the dungeon missions. Floors 6 through 10. Next time. So... The dungeons, oh boy. Lots of torture, lots of death, lots of everything. I'm going to clear it out. No one deserves to live. I'll see you guys then. I'm Big Mac Davis. Take care, everybody. <laughs>